Hello. Good morning. How you doing, Nem? How's things? Oh, you're right, it is Friday. Forgot about that. The past couple of days of uh, really messed up all sense of time and just all sorts. Ooh. Sausage links, roast oven, mushroom skewer, baked mega piranha. I like the idea of getting some sausage links. Alright, Ocular, let's go. Go to the Ocula. So apparently we're gonna go have a word with uh Bothry. Whatever his name is. Do 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 There you are. May I assume you've had your fill of rest? Is well. Now that we are all present, let us speak of our plan. So unbelievably rested. Thus far, we have vanquished four light lords, restoring night to much of Northrend. Apparently, we only got to get rid of one more. That of yeah. Colusia, and with Reen to guide us, I am certain we will find it. We're so close now. If we can just take care of this one last warden, we'll rob the Sin Eaters of their final foothold and drive them out of Norvrant once and for all. It will be a new beginning for the first. A chance for the people to rebuild their world. In short, a prize worth fighting for. And in thus delivering the first from destruction, so too shall we unsow the seeds of the eighth umbral calamity. Do you hear? Your dreams of rejoining is in jeopardy. Are you sure you're not tempted to intervene? I don't know what this, this guy's game plan is. is tantamount to saving the world. It is not. In truth, you only delay the inevitable, lengthening your fleeting lives by the smallest of margins. It would be churlish of me to deny you this small concession, close as we've become. Foolish and misguided though you are, you are not without charm. 
Each and every one of you is possessed of a noble heart. When the weak want for succor, you do not hesitate to provide it. Alas, your nobility is short-sighted. You think only of the problem in front of your nose. A limitation of your ephemeral existence. Our lives may seem short and insignificant to the likes of you, but one does not need to be an eternal being to achieve lasting change. True. But if I may stop you there, I do not claim that we Asians are special. That is another misconception. In the beginning, every, everyone lived nigh for eternity. Such was the natural order of things. But like so much else, this was taken from you. Hmm. You won't object if I borrow your plaything. I object. You're out of order. When the world was one and whole, a great calamity threatened all life. It began without warning. The very laws of the star were warped and broken, and chaos swiftly spread throughout the land. Faced with annihilation, we sought to imbue the star with its own will. Thus was Zodiac born. And by his power was order restored. Ere long, however, thankless fools began to fear that Zodiac's might was too great. And so they conjured another to keep him in check. Your own dear Hydeleth. The two beings waged war until, with a single devastating blow, Hydaelyn unmade Zodiac, scattering his being across space and time. So you told us in the Katana Ravel. <laughs> she sounds yes, yes. so done with his shit. And there began our woes with Hydaelyn's blow and all that it wrought. As a counterbalance to Zodiac, Hydaelyn was created with the power to enervate her foe. This singular ability strikes not at such banal things as flesh, but everything that defines the target, diluting its existence. For example, was she to strike you? Two individuals, identical in appearance yet reduced in all respects. Strength, intelligence, the soul itself. All is hard. Oh, okay. Do you see? This self same fate befell not only Zodiac, but the very star. Ah, I see. Fortunate enough to escape the sundering, me being one of them. When I beheld the shattered remnants of our home, I knew deepest despair. Oh, here we go, despair again. The inhabitants of these fourteen fragments were feeble, frail, and foolish. Oblivious to their imperfection, ignorant of their past. Malformed creatures thrashing blindly about. Pitiful, disturbing, depressing. So, we took it upon ourselves to rejoin the worlds. But in our eagerness and, I confess, our ignorance, we erred and made a useless void of the 13th.
It was only huh. afterwards that we discovered a connection twixt source and shard. A flow of energy that maintains elemental balance. And thus did we arrive at our time-honored modus operandi. From a purely Asian standpoint, it could be said that what you seek to do is only logical. But that would be to ignore the immeasurable destruction wrought with each rejoining. You have murdered millions, and this we cannot condone. By your fragmented existence, you continue to give rise to tragedies far crueler than any calamity. Hmm. But yes. I was going to say, the flood's going to pretty much kill everybody anyway. I do not consider you to be truly alive, ergo, I will not be guilty of murder if I kill you. Oh, don't look at me like that. You, for whom I have only the highest expectations. A vaunted hero of the source, seven times rejoined. Long have I awaited one who might brave a path of lesser tragedy. A resilient soul able to endure the necessary pain. I dare to hope that my wait is over. So, finish your task and slay the Light Warden. Make proof of your usefulness, and then we may speak again. I have no idea why he's so on board with this. Forgive me, my lord, but this could not wait. Speak freely, Captain. Our informant in Colusia sends word of unusual activity in Yulmor. It appears their forces are entrenching themselves at key points throughout the city, making ready for an attack by all indications. An intriguing use of resources. I rather doubt Lord Valtry is concerned for the safety of his citizens. You think he's harboring the Light Warden inside the city walls? Even if he does have some means of controlling the Sin Eaters, wouldn't that be a little risky? Risky or not, if there is even a chance the Warden is hiding there, we will need to act fast. The longer we wait, the better prepared the new Warrens will be. Well, we need to go back there anyway. Agreed. See to your preparations then and make for Colusia. God's willing, this hunt will be the last. Let us see it through to the end. We should begin by assembling in right. There we may assess the situation in Yulmor and decide how best to proceed. I don't remember which one that is. I think that's the first town in Calusia. Second. See, there's still another section of this map that I haven't gotten to yet. I still need to do three more quests and five more Aetherites. There's an entire area I haven't been to yet. Oh, that's not an Aetherite quest.
Hasn't been that long, has it? I don't know why Alphano's saying that. There's no way he's going to be okay with this. I think it's going to turn out to be something like Vortery is the Light Warden. Oh, it's because I went over the rock last time, I see. I'd be interested to know how far Arasin got. I think he's overtaken me now. Wait, I thought enemies weren't supposed to go after you if you were 10 levels higher. Person's looking at me. Sausage links. Strange. Passing strange. By their behavior, we may safely assume that they are under Vorthry's mind control. Yet the extent of the effect seemeth to vary dramatically between subjects. too pronounced to be attributed simply to the vagaries of innate magical resistance. Curiouser and curiouser. Yes. We met with no trouble en route. My thanks for securing the way. But 
But given the state of the townsfolk, I see we were never in any danger of being recognized. What can you tell us from here? I sense a powerful eater in the uppermost reaches of the city. But there's something different about it. It's light. Probably it's the lion thing. Pure. No, I reckon. We need to get closer. Bothry is the. Uh... Oh, so that one's all for now. Well, unless you're triplets. Kaishia, what are you doing here? While I was scouting the area, I noticed a suspicious figure skulking about. Oh, of course he was. So I accosted him, only to have him call me Alfino. <laughs> I thought it best to bring him along. You see. That informant who's been beating secrets to the Crystarium. It's me. See, after you saved my life in Yulmore, I thought about going somewhere far away, but I couldn't just leave. Not without paying you back. So I decided to stay here, keep an eye on things. And whenever I spotted something strange, I shared it with your friends. That took no small amount of courage. Well done. I assume you saw what happened here. Right, so, an airship flew in a bit ago, and not long after, Vorfree starts ranting and raving. It, you could hear him from all the way out here. Geezer was doing his nut! Shouting and screaming like someone had nicked his pie! Geezer was doing his nut! It is like the airship or the soldiers sent to thwart our efforts in our meringue. So, eventually, the yelling dies down, and then this hot, sticky wind comes blowing through. Now, that's when everyone went funny. No, everyone but me. Well, me and a couple of newcomers, though even they started mumbling about Vorfree after a while. Not as bad as the rest, mind you. Newcomers. There's something I need Reen to see. It's the Melos. Whatever it's called. Yeah, that stuff. This was among the town folks' food stores. Oh, that's just meal. Meal. That's the that. one. No, it it couldn't be. I, I know what it is. Oh. It's sin eater. Meal is made out of sin eater. So it is. In limited quantities, it may have little effect on an average individual. Yet, if one were to consume Don't it, put it back in your pocket. Several years, I suspect it would do far, far more than merely nourish the body. That Vorthry wieldeth power over sin eaters is known. Could it be that those who partake of their flesh do thereby render themselves susceptible to his influence? would serve to explain why the town's newer arrivals succumbed less quickly than those raised on a diet of meal. He's been rounding up sin eaters and feeding them to people, altering the mouthful by mouthful, all to stop them answering back. There are desperate souls out there killing themselves to escape turning. This is unforgivable, an atrocity. These sin eaters, what if they are not simply rounded up. Do you remember what we were told when first we came to the city? Many no. enter, but none leave. How about Kai Sha? He's here. He clearly left. Let us put an end to it. To this paradise built upon the bones of the poor. Vorthra's deeds are beyond justification, beyond forgiveness. 
evil. It's highly probable that the Light Warden is waiting for us somewhere in there, and I'm all for going after it. But our enemies know our faces. They know that we are coming, and they will not let us through without a fight. Like it or not, the time for stealth is past. Now, my friend, if you would be so good as to lead the charge. I mean, you're the tank here, not me. If anyone should be leading the charge, it should be you. It's you. Ah, it's them! The villains who would sow chaos in my perfect paradise! Keep them away from me! I command you! Keep them away! use his own people as shields. This area is older than Gate Town. There are bound to be far more civilians under Vorthra's control. But they do not act of their own free will, and we must not harm them. Oh, what? As if we ever would. Press on with Alpha now. We'll hold off the civilians and join you as soon as we can. So much for don't hurt them. 